Right, so on these snake lakes in the summer, you're going to have scenarios where you've got a deep far bank. So what I mean by this is you plumb up tight to the far bank and you've sort of got two and a half, three foot of water. Now, fishing your bait, such as micro pellets, ground bait, and that sort of thing in that depth, it starts to lose its effects enough. Now, the reason of that is because obviously the depth and your bait gets washed everywhere and it just leads to foul lookers. So a great method sort of to get rid of that is by fishing hard pellets. Now, basically you've got two scenarios with hard pellets. You have a fish them on the bottom, which is good to start with. And then basically as the day goes on, it's likely them fish will want to come off the bottom. Now, basically how I do this is I obviously have a deck rig, which would be something like a 4B14 or 4B16 Fury float. Obviously a little banded pellet. And I basically start my session by sort of sprinkling a few in. Now catch steady for a bit, but then you'll get some liners and foul lockers, and this is when the fish want to come sailor. So in today's case, I'll run you through the rig basically and we'll talk you through how I'm fishing it. So elastic wise, I've got a white zip elastic. It's dead soft on the strike and when I hook them fish, it's not going to spook them. Actually coming down the rig, I've, I've got like a decent line. I've probably got two foot, two, two and a half foot of line there. So it makes me be able to sort of alter my depth. But when you're catching on this method, obviously where we're fishing, it's between two and a half to sort of three foot deep in general. So about half depth and up from that is where you're sort of looking to catch or so anything. There's normally the best depths are between sort of six inches and 12 inches, which is, seems about right in that depth. So coming onto the float, I've just got a little 4x10 big head, which is perfect uh, for this sort of game. It just takes two number 10 stops. So I can either slap it or make a bit of noise if I need to, or I can just shove it in them grass, exactly where them carp want to be. Now in terms of, like I say, I've got literally like two, two and a half foot of line there, so I can fish a few different depths. Starting guide for this is good sort of like, depth to start is like 12 inches deep. Now obviously if I'm not getting any bites, I'll go deeper. If I'm can see the fish, I'm getting a few indications of the shallower. So actually today, eight inches has been the best depth. So I've literally, I've actually got like your float sh um, shoved down there and I've got two number 10s on top of the hook link and I've just got a six inch hook link and that's 015 and size 16 SLWG hook. Now, obviously you think, you might be thinking, well, a six inch hook link is quite long for that depth, but I actually like a longer fall for carp. I like a slightly longer hook link because I think it sort of gives them a bit of more of a natural fall. So, but also you can catch it like six inches deep with this. So basically what I do for, with that is I'll change it to a four inch hook link and then obviously set my rig at six inches. So it's pretty simple and bait wise, I literally just feed me four mil pellets and then hook bait wise, I've, I've just simply got some six mils, like exactly the same pellet I'm feeding, which is like a copping pellet, or I've got some six mil lighter coloured pellets, which is just going to stand out and just sink a bit slower. So it's pretty simple bait wise. So just before I ship in and show you what I'm going to do for today, another thing to point out is way to fish. Now, a lot of these sort of far bank snake lakes, you're going to have like little bits of cover. So in an ideal world, you want some like a little bit of cover where then fish, you almost want the pellets to stick in the grass. So when I fire some pellets in, I want a few to stick in them um, grasses. And that just basically brings the carp shallow and it basically makes them settle into your peg. Like if you're doing it into say like a mud bank, there's no sort of feature there for your pellets to stick and sort of hold your fish. So if you've got a feature and some way you can get your, your float into some reeds, it's always better really. So I'm gonna show you, how, show you now how to catch one. So the best hook bait today has actually been like a light coloured six mil pellet. Just a bit of a standout bait and it sinks a bit slow, which I think the fish like. So it's literally eight inches deep. That's the best uh, bait for today. So before I ship out, I'm just gonna fire some four mils. And I hope I want actually a few to stick in them grasses because like I was saying before, it just holds fish and it makes them come shallow all the time. So I'll give it like a couple of pouches, four mils. So probably like two lots of, between like eight and 12 pellets, something like that. Doesn't have to be too particular. Another thing as well, I've got ducks in my peg, which a lot of people think, oh, I've got ducks in my peg. Um, I'm gonna scare them off, but they actually can be a, a really good thing to make the fish for some reason settle. Now the best way today is literally been by just getting my rig tight into that grass like that. And just basically lifting and dropping down again. There's a few other ways you can do it, like I say, you can slap or you can sort of drop your pellet from a height to make a, to get a bit of noise. And it's all about, like I say there, it's like you've got to play about with what you do. So fish have obviously seen it all before and you need to keep changing to keep fish coming. So that's one way you can do it. And what I'll do now is I'll show you how you can slap it or almost like dab it in the water. 
a lot of these sort of fish you catch on these lakes are all sort of between sort of a pound and four pound, a lot of these type of venues as well. So this is when it sort of lends itself perfectly for fish this size. It's probably like a pound and a half. Right, so there's one way of catching a fish on this method. Now we're going to show you through the sort of the slapping and the sort of the dabbing way of doing it. So again, before you ship out, get a couple of pouches of feed. But I'll say you want it to uh, stick in the grass as well, or get closer to the grass as you can, just so it holds them fish. So basically when your pellets stick in the grass, it's going to hold, hold fish there. That's what's really important. So as we've all seen before, you can either slap it, which I'm just going to show you, like that. Now, the disadvantage with that is, don't get me wrong, it's brilliant on its day, but the disadvantage is you can't get real tight in the cover, and these fish really want to be tight in. But another great way of doing it is actually like dropping it in dead fast. So by this, I mean just literally dumping the rig in. So like that. We well, just got it then, but just in dead fast like that. But the, the more advantage of this is you can obviously get your bait sort of tighter to the cover but also keep feeding all the time. So I missed a part. And just don't sit there being lazy, like you've got to keep constantly keep making something happen like there, got one. Another important thing as well is uh, choosing the correct elastic. So obviously today we've got white zip, and basically the reason this is so good for this type of fishing is it's nice and soft on the strike. So when you look at fish, it's not going to splash or disturb any other feeding fish. Nice fish, probably like, oh, bit of a merry dance. Probably like two pound. So there's two different ways of sort of catching these carp on shallow on these uh, snake lakes, so give it a try. Mm -hmm. 